Hello YouTube world, it's Hey Keisha. Guys, I got a dream about a month ago and it's been just bothering me, just been on my heart, bothering me. And when I got it, I wanted to release it and I didn't for some reason and it's been bothering me, bothering me. So I asked God that, you know, let me know when it's the right time to release it and when i release it i want him to be able to i want you to be able to um allow speak to me so that i can interpret it the way that it should be interpreted stay tuned guys if you'd like to hear about this dream because it's affecting today and it may also be something that we can look forward to in the um in the future Okay, so guys, um, I dreamt that I went to this church service and I've been having a lot of dream about a church setting. And I feel like before I even go there, let me just tell you about the dream. So it was a church service and it was a church setting and it was outside. It wasn't in like um, an actual building. So it was outside and it was close to a park. We were just standing outside. So there was lots of us, mostly women though. And there was a new pastor, a new pastor that started um, pastoring our church, whatever church that is. So a pastor in that church in my dream and he was there and a lot of the women was trying to get this pastor's attention. They were like, after the devotion was completed, we had a great devotion and after the pastor was supposed to preach and he came up and he took the mic, um, all the ladies was going closer and closer and closer because they're trying to get the attention of this pastor man, this man, this man in power. They're trying to get his attention and while they were doing that i noticed that there was a group of guys they were walking and they were like running down another guy and they ran him down and then it was a little bit distracting because then we we're outside and then these group of guys and you know i was telling so the pastor took the mic and then everyone attention led from where the pastor was even the pastor himself his everyone head was turned towards where this dist distraction where this guys, all these guys were running down this other guy, and then I noticed that they were they run in, run down this guy. They were forcing him to take this thing like a drug, so they were forcing him to take it. He didn't want it to take it, but he end up they end up forcing it onto him, and he took it. And I'm like, and I went over because one of the guys them that I I knew I went to school with, and I basically was asking him, why are you guys doing this to him? He doesn't want to take it. What is that you guys are giving to him? And he goes, it's, good. it's something good, it's, it's, it's good for him. And he's supposed to be taking it, whatever it is. The guy that I knew, they all started taking it. And then I realized they were acting weird. They were acting crazy after they took this drug. They were acting weird and they were acting all crazy. And I was wondering like, so I was wondering what happened? Why were they acting that crazy? And they, now the same guy I was talking to that was in his right mind, he's, they were all acting crazy. Like they were coming like a zombie, like they were in walking dead or something. And they were coming towards us, the church. And then we started got it, getting scared. We were, well, the church, we all, there's fear that came upon us. And then after that fear came upon us, I'm going to talk about myself. I started rebuking um, those guys because I'm like, God, and then I was telling the church people, them, help me, help me pray. Help me pray for them. Something is wrong with them. Help me pray. But they were like, have this fear of wanting to run. They wanted to run away. But we, were, but we were like blocked in by those guys. And then as I started praying, I realized that there is not, even though just those guys, there were creepy crawlers, like creepy crawling insects and all different types of creepy call, crawling insects was on the floor and they were devouring those people those guys that was acting crazy like a zombie and it was coming towards us the church that was standing out there and then i'm like why are you guys standing you guys need to pray and nobody's praying and i started praying i'm like god if ever i need you god i need you now i need you to lose us i need you to and i started praying 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 there's this one lady that was at church with me that was with me that was that was in accordance with me 
and then there was a way and i was looking i was like you got, guys we have to run we have to run and we have to pray we have to keep moving and pray and um nobody everyone was just panicking in fear and was just standing up and all the creepy crawlers and all the whatever was coming all these crawling insect yucky insect coming to devour them was coming and so i said to the lady i said to her that we have to run we have to run there's a way that it was like there's a the the, the way the, those creepy crawlers was coming there was a way a little way that we could run up and then i said to the lady you know what we have to run we have to make run for it and i was telling her but if we run to if we try to run to go up the hill where our park is um if we try to run to the lower side of the hill we might they might the creepy crawlers might catch us because they're a little bit fast and it will be easier for them to climb up to to climb up from the lower hand and if we try to run together we might hit into each other we might collide and one of us might get you know devoured or whatever so i was like okay so we're gonna run you run at the bottom and i will i will try and get from the my end from the bottom and jump up the hill and see if i and i'm like god i've never done this before so we ran and then as we start running they started to it when the creeper crawlers noticed that we were moving they started coming after us and the lady ran up to the um that the, the lower end of the hill she was able to run and she ran up that way and i'm like god and i was running to the higher part of the hill and i'm like god i have to do this and i'm gonna have to leap in faith if it's your will then god allow me to make it through to make it over and i run and i jump up to the hill and by the time i got over to the hill the lady was able to reach the higher top of the um there's some like it's a playground and there's like say um i would say it's a slider you know when you go to the top of the slide and then you go down so she went into the top of the the, the she went up she was she had, she was heading up there she um, a matter of fact we were running to this other play thing area and um when we noticed that it was all insect and stuff was crawling all over it so we said okay we have to go further we have to go further but she was a little bit ahead of me because of the way the height that i took it slowed me down so she was a little bit ahead of, ahead of me and she ran up to this sliding thing the top part of it where you'd go to the top and then you slide off so she ran to the top of it and then i was running and then i was running you guys and as i was running running she was cheering me on come kishi you can do it you can do it she was cheering me on and then after she said that there's and when we got there when we got to the other side she said they're all dead they're all dead there's none of the the, the ones i'm on here is not alive they're all dead and then i started um going up the hill and then while but everything while i was moving i was just praying and then when i made it up there i'm like thank you jesus and we started both her and i started worshiping just thank you jesus thank you jesus and but those other christians those other the church actually got devoured because they were distracted by these guys and not only by these guys when they noticed the creepy crawler devouring the guys then they didn't know what to do they started panicking and they they were in fear for their life and they didn't and instead of calling on god and asking god to um to show them a way out or doing what we were telling them to do like don't get distracted just focus on god and let's keep praying let's keep moving let's move let's run let's run let's run and pray no they weren't listening they, it, it was just going from one here to the other and the lady and i went and while i was running I'm like god i'm like god make a way out for me god god and like crying out to him and when the lady said to me that all these the insect on this particular um slide was dead they were dead so you can make it up you can make it to the top and she was sharing me out come on Keisha come on come on you can make it you can make it and when I saw that they were dead I'm like God it must be you and when we went to the top we were like praising thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you make a way out of no way thank you Jesus and we were just going off and that I dreamt that um about a month ago and it's been on my heart and I didn't want to share it because I sometimes Sometimes when I dream I wonder if it's you know if it's really God that says certain things and then I'll kind of watch my environment a little bit and to see if something is coming to the past or if there's something going on and it's been on my heart today I was driving and I was praying 
and it came back to me and I figured that and I said I'm gonna go home and do a YouTube and it just keep repeating itself back in my mind and I said today God wants me to release this message today so I am going to release it so my interpretation for this is and I have been getting a lot of dreams about church setting and I honestly feel like the church needs to pray more the church needs to find God the church needs to seek a God more I think our attention is more on the pastor the elder of the church the man that is supposed to represent in the church we are being distracted by our pastors we listen to what they said we are trying to do everything to please our pastor and not pleasing God and we need to start pleasing God we need to start pleasing God I wonder if you guys know like we all have to give account for when we noticed that that the devil was taking control of these people's mind of their the t eating up their mind and allowing them to go crazy we as the church was just staring looking at them when I was telling the church pray pray ask God for forgiveness ask God to heal them we were standing up there like looking and then when we noticed when it started getting worse and we noticed that all these creepy crawlers was coming and devouring them and we realized it's coming at us too then you're getting all fear all in fear and all like scared because you don't know you don't know when are you supposed to be praying and ask God to take us out of whatever this situation is? We weren't doing that or the church weren't doing that. But myself that was not distracted and the other lady that was with me that was not distracted. We started working together to figure a way out and just praying and we praying and cheering each other. and. We prayed and we came up with a plan and we the plan worked and you know and she was cheering me on come on Keisha you can do it and while she's cheering me on she's praying I am praying and when we get to the top when we get to the top we started worshiping God we were the only two that was left we started worshiping God a matter of fact God made the way for us because when she ran up run, run up there she was able to secure an area and when she got to that area she realized that all those creeper crawlers those pestilence whatever they're ca called was dead God killed them before we got there he made that way out for us because we run we we leap in faith we had faith we know that he was going to make a way we weren't standing up panicking and you know crying and in fear and you know because we see all these stuff no so i believe the church needs to get their self in order and if the church and if you notice that your pastor is not in order and if you a matter of fact we need to stop being distracted stop being distracted and focus focus on God on his plan and his work for us and his purpose for us his purpose for us for us to serve him not serving our pastor his purpose guys I've seen so much things going on right now in the world like when I seen um, leaders saying stuff and getting caught up into politics it hurts my heart because these are only distractions these are things that is here to distract us from worshiping God from serving God from serving the true King and I don't know how they allow themselves to get caught up into these kind of stuff how could you get so like oh so caught up into this stuff it's 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 not cute it's not cute you need to focus on God you see all these things going around you and these you're being judgmental you're taking the role taking up the role as if you're God no you're not and you're just digging yourself deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into sin into darkness we were supposed to be getting running and praying and running and praying and moving and praying and moving until you get deliverance guys i hope you guys take eat i like and subscribe to my channel 
this has been on my heart for such a while and it makes me wonder i don't know i honestly don't know if whatever these people are taking if it's a vaccine if it's a drug but it was like something that we they had to take and then from there i had a feeling that if they're forcing this guy to take it they're taking it themselves and we as a church standing up there um they eventually going to try to force us as a church or as people to take it and i'm like no we need to pray we need to pray we need to seek god we need to seek his face for him to deliver us for him to it could if we all were praying in accordance everything would have been stopped there the devil would have flee but because we were distracted and in confusion we were confused or they were confused and in fear of not knowing what to do when i kept saying pray 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 but they weren't listening to me who am i for them to listen to me to to listen to me i'm not their pastor i'm just a new christian so i'm not it's not like i've been saved for 20 something years and been preaching for 20 something years or have been ministering for 20 or, or five years or so so who am i for them to listen to but because i know that i have to give accordance for my own soul I run for my life and I prayed in the midst of moving. I prayed in the midst of running. And that other lady that was with me was in accordance with me. And she pressed and she prayed and we worked together until we were able to reach our destination and God made the way. I didn't know that I could have jumped from where I was on the top of that hill, but I'm like, God, I have to do it and I'm gonna do it in faith and I did it in f and I move out in faith and he was able to take me over to the top of that hill and once I got there the other lady was there and she cheered me on come on you can do it you can do it you can do it and while she's cheering me on I'm praying God I need to get there I need to get there you m see me through God see me through we need a way out we need a way out and when she said the all the pestilence and all the creepy crawlers was dead and I was able to go up there when I I realized I was able to make it to that area where I was sec feel secure where I feel delivered we were in we were just praising God we were just praising because we know that there was no there was not in ourself not in our flesh that we would have been able to make it on our own but because God was with us because we were calling out to him and we were praying praying while we were moving he answered our prayer and I just want you guys to just take heed take heed do not get distracted because you are the only person that will be given accordance for your own soul so hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month See you in my next video.